Yo, what's going on guys? Dragon Monster here, and we're back once again, and this time we're gonna be talking about something a little bit different. But yet another guide. So recently I got a comment on a uh, little quick highlight from one of my streams where I got death stuck in a bookcase in Vampire Survivors, and somebody mentioned something that I found a little bit interesting, right? So Black and Nerd here said something about seeing people cheating to win and unlock a character by killing death. Now I had never heard of this before, so I did some research, right? And started digging, started doing a lot of uh, searching for things. And I came across a video by a wonderful content creator by the name of McQueeb. And it says, unlock any character easily. And in fact, this is the updated version of the one that he made before where he showed exactly what Walker Nerd was talking about and he modified the game files to give something an insane amount of exorbitant amount of damage so that when death eventually came it killed him so apparently it is possible to kill death now this method that he highlights in this newer video bypasses all that and just directly changes a file in the game to uh remove a character being hidden now you can do this with x dash you could do this with apparently another character as well and supposedly there are a few other characters in this list that we're going to see in the files that are not even talked about so if we take a look here at steam in fact i actually should just pull up steam and right click, go to manage, and then browse local files. You'll see resources, app, webpack, renderer, and then you're going to want to look at main bundle. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click on it and then hit edit. And you're gonna see this text file pop up. And one of the easiest ways to get the character for beating death is to hit control F for search and then type in Reaper. You'll see here it says XL Reaper. And if we take a look here, we scroll back a bit, back a bit, back a bit, you'll see right here it says hidden exclamation point zero X zero. So let's go ahead and cancel out of this. Let's close this. Let's leave this. And eh, we'll close it just for now, just to make sure everything's on the up and up, right? Let's go ahead and launch Vampire Survivors real quick. So we go to start. You'll see I only have these, what is it, 12 characters? I don't have. This one at the bottom for death. So if I close the game, I go back to Steam. I go back in, manage, local, resources, app, webpack, render, main bundle, edit. Control F, Reaper still highlighted. Hit find next. Ooh. What have I done? See if I can hit up and go find it again. Okay, it's right there. So if I go back like this, there we go. Oh my, what have I done? It's somewhere in here. Okay, oh no, what have I done? Up and hit next. I think I keep missing. <laughs> My clicks are terrible. Right there. So we take this, we go right there where that exclamation mark is, we erase it, and then hit cancel on this, file, save. Now you should always back up your files before you do this kind of thing, but there is a way to fix this should you make some mistakes. Because if you go through and you search for hidden and you do the same thing for X dash and all these other bonus characters, you might run into some trouble. We're going to launch the game once again. Mm 
and you'll see right here death now from what i understand every time you go to play the character he's gonna have an exorbitantly random amount of stats this is my understanding i've yet to use them um i've only seen people use them i'm not really gonna mess with it too much is is how i personally want to approach it at the moment because it seems like it is actually possible to unlock him genuinely by killing him so maybe if i can find a way to do that without hacking files i want to try that um the other thing is that if you go about locking the other characters like the yada character that a lot of people have been looking at that i think they've patched and changed some files around uh making it harder or impossible to do that like you can unlock it for you can find it so it's no longer hidden but it's like 10,000 gold or something like that or more to unlock it or some amount like that so instead of dealing with all that my assumption because there's so many hidden character values in there is that they're framework for future characters so I'm not going to mess with them once the game is fully released and they seem done with it maybe I'll go back and try looking at some stuff you know we'll see anything that is not proven to be possible to get without modifying files then we'll start messing with it but that's why I'm not even going to bother spending the gold to unlock this, just to make sure it doesn't mess with anything. So I'm going to hit back, I'm going to close this. Gonna once again, open up Steam. We're going to go to Properties this time. Local Files. Verify Integrity of Local File, or Game Files. And it's a very small game, so it goes very quick. One file failed to validate and will be reacquired. That would be the one that we changed. So we hit close. Just to make sure it did it right, do it again. It's quick. Not all games are this quick. All files successfully validated. So then if we close this, we launch it one last time. And it's gone. So... That tells me that, you know, it's it's a, a cheat way to do it, right? That tells me it's not the right way to do it. So I'm going to see if I can poke around with some things and find a way to unlock them genuinely. And worst case scenario, after the game is fully out and not going to get any more major updates, maybe we'll have to cheat to do it if I find that it's not actually possible. But the game is still very much in early access. Um... We're only on version 0 0.2.11 at the moment. So plenty more things to change and upgrade and improve in the future. So you never know. But that's going to be it for me. Ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate you for uh, taking the time to watch this video. Hopefully you learned something. And if you liked or disliked the video, please hit the corresponding button down below. If you have any more information on anything that's hidden in the game or any secrets or anything like that, I'm always eagerly excited to find those especially ones that don't require me to modify files so if you have any uh information like that any different tips or tricks for how to do this kind of thing or anything else that you want to say in general please leave it down in the comments below and if you want to find more videos that we do you can subscribe to the channel we do all sorts of different games but plenty of vampire survivors as well and i'm going to be very closely following the updates of the game so if you want to see um continual progress on the game or be notified of what each update does i'm going to start doing those so you can make sure you subscribe and if you want to be notified in your inbox whenever we post a video make sure you hit the bell and have it turned on to whatever specification you want that way whenever we do post a video you know right away and that'll be pretty much it for me ladies and gentlemen i appreciate you all i will catch you guys next time Bye bye